It's time for the 80s game with me, Martha Quinn. The 80s game with Martha Quinn, released in 2007. Ah, who the heck is Martha Quinn? Anyway, this is one of those games I bought at the dollar store. Uh, this is a quiz game, all based around questions from the 1980s. You start off typing your name and picking a 80s pitcher persona. And if you don't see any pitchers in there you like, you can always load your own pitcher. There's a couple modes to play, and by beating certain goals, you'll unlock 80s gear. It's kind of like the Xbox badges or the PlayStation trophies. So let's start with the free mode, which is basically mixed questions. Questions come in different ranks. Answering them gives you points. After you're given the question, you have a choice of answering I know it or I'll guess it. Now, if you choose I know it and you get it right, you'll be given even more bonus points. But the downside to this is you only get one chance to answer the question. If you choose I'll guess it, you can guess multiple times, but you'll get less points and even more or less points the more you make a mistake. You can also grab a few bonus points if you can guess the year of the question. You also have this 80s power meter in the corner. The harder the questions you answer, the faster it charges. Now when this charges, this adds more points to each question you answer and increases the amount of questions asked in a game. So this game is really designed to reward players who know their 80s very well. Challenge mode lets you choose specific categories to test your knowledge in. I gave the music category a shot and well, I didn't do very well in that one. I only got about 30,000 points. However, when I moved on to the movie category, uh... Oh, Superman movies. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Planes, trains, and automobiles? I got this one. Schwarzenegger movies from the 80s? Forget about it. <laughs> the Princess Bride? Seen that like 10 times. I just cleaned house in this one, and uh, going from 30,000 points in the music category to 640,000 felt really good. The final mode is this episode mode thing. It, it kind of feels like levels you have to beat. It, it's a nice addition to stretch the game out for a little bit, but uh, it was actually my least favorite category. So the thing about the 80s game, it's fun, but you're really not going to play it too long. And if your knowledge of the 80s is lacking, you're not going to have a very good time at all either. But you're certainly going to learn some things, that's for sure. Uh, I even learned a couple things. I learned that Martha Quinn was an MTV VJ in 1981. And that's a little too far back for me. That, that's probably why I didn't know who she was. But, uh, 1981? And this game came out in 2007. That means she was almost 50 when she did this game? Really? Huh. She don't look it. So anyway, if you like trivia games and the 80s itself, then I think you're gonna like this one. I played it only for a short time, but I can't say I didn't enjoy myself. It was fun. So anyway, there you have it. The 80s Game with Martha Quinn. Thanks for watching.